Welcome back YouTube to another uh, G Auto Repair video. Today we have a 2005 Nissan Quest 3.5 liter with a transmission problem. The co customer complains that when she puts the transmission in reverse, it engages fine. She backs out, puts it in drive, and it just doesn't go anywhere. It just stays there. It takes a little while for it to actually finally engage and uh, she can go down the road. I was able to duplicate the complaint and I'm gonna make my way into the car and uh, so I can show you guys what it's actually doing. It's uh, relatively easy to duplicate. Uh, once the car gets in, ge in gear, you're fine for, for the remaining of the time. But once you turn it off, you let it sit for a while, you have to go through the whole mumbo jumbo again. So uh, if you give guys give me a minute, I'll be in the car and I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, so we're in the vehicle now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, show you what it's doing. Now, I'm gonna pay attention here to the RPMs so you guys could see it. But I'm gonna put it in reverse and I'm gonna do the stall test. And you can see it's engaged but when I put it in drive okay, nothing nothing it is in drive I just dropped it to low nothing no engagement whatsoever. Now if you give it a minute or so, it, it will finally go into gear. There we go. It just went into gear right now. Just went into gear. So, now you can go neutral. Drive. No problem. No problem. Reverse. No problem. Park. Turn off the car. Turn it back on. Drive. And there went the gear. There's a delay. That's the best way I can describe it. There's a delay in the in the drive engagement. In reverse, no problem. Right there's in park. Drive and then. So there you have it. I went ahead and turned off the car. And uh, now I need to make my way out of this vehicle. So give me a second. I'll be right back with you. All right. So we're back. Um, I already did the preliminary checks. I checked the transmission fluid level, which is okay. As a matter of fact, I think it's a little overfilled. Uh, the condition of the oil doesn't look bad it's not dirty it does not smell burnt um, I checked for any transmission codes I did not find any um, everything seems all right other than that delay um, it takes time for it to engage once it engages and you drive down the road and then you don't have any issues it's nice and warmed up you don't have any more issues but that initial engagement is the the, the problem it takes a long time to to go into drive so um, to me everything points to an internal transmission problem I I don't feel that we have uh, burnt clutches or anything at this time because um, nothing in the oil indicates that that you know you have that issue the oil smells all right doesn't smell burnt uh, I don't see no particles in the oil. 
However, I will be dropping the the uh, transmission uh, oil pan. We are going to replace the filter. I got the, the filter kit right here with a new oil. And um, what I am suspecting is maybe a loss of internal pressure in that circuit. Uh, and it takes time for it to build up. Um, so I will be adding an additive. Transax automatic transmission stop leak and tune up. Um, what will happen, I don't know. We're about to find out. Um, I'm not sure. I'm a big believer that if it's broken, you need to tear it down, fix what's broken, replace whatever seals, clutches that need to be replaced. And, and that's how you fix the problem. But in this situation, the customer um, agreed to me doing that and to see what would happen. So we're gonna learn together what's gonna happen. We're gonna drop the oil, uh, drop the, the pan, change the filter and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, vehicle up on the it's already on the lift but i'm gonna get it up to where it needs to be and then we'll we'll go ahead and drop that pan all right guys we're back i got uh i got here an oil catch pan i cleaned it out real good because i want to see if there's any particles that came out of the transmission i want to be able to tell that it came from the transmission itself so i just went ahead and cleaned it up and uh now i'm gonna drain the transmission there's a 19 millimeter bolt right here and we're gonna loosen and we're gonna drain we're gonna drain the transmission doesn't the oil doesn't look bad at all um, I think she had already changed the oil at some point before this happened I'm not hundred percent sure but the oil itself doesn't look that bad uh, Still reddish. Doesn't smell burnt. It smells like regular transmission oil. Should be about five quarts or so. And uh, it is overfilled a little bit, so it's probably gonna be a little over five quarts. Well, there's 21 bolts that hold this pan up. The only issue that I see is gonna be in this corner here. There's about maybe two bolts that look like they're gonna be a pain, a pain to get to. So we're gonna have to use a little bit of on the spot engineering to solve that situation because this cross, oh crap. This cross member is in the, in the way. I made a bit of a mess here. My finger got caught with a pan there. I spilled some uh, oil there on the floor. I'm gonna carefully move this out of the way. So I can analyze that here shortly. Let me mop up this mess here a little bit.
put this oh down here because when I take this off I don't want any I don't want this available here okay so like I said it's 21 bolts that are bolted up and these are the problem ones right back here I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of engineering here and I don't have one of those big uh, jack stands so I'm going to make my own out of a piece of 4x4 four Just to give me enough room Just to give me enough room to get to those bolts down there As you can see the transmission has separated from the frame a little bit more So I should be able to Should be able to get in there I'm gonna use this offset 10 millimeter wrench right. and I'm gonna loosen up these bolts here with the, with the wrench everything else I should be able to get with the with the socket and the and the cordless impact so but these two or three bolts here seem like they're gonna be a bit of a problem because of where they're at uh, all right. okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take out all these bolts here and just to not make this a super long video, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and then I'll I'll be back with you guys as soon as I get this pan down, all right? All right, YouTube, welcome back. Um, first of all, I must apologize. I did finish the repair for this car and uh, was unable to film it because I had a bunch of interruptions while I was doing the repair. I left off uh, when I was taking off the bolts to the uh, oil pan. And uh, then I just started getting phone calls. A customer stopped by and it just became a whole thing. So I was unable to uh, document it. However, I did finish it. I didn't see anything in the uh, in the oil pan. Just as I expected not to see, the filter was not clogged. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary that I wouldn't expect to find. Um, so I just topped it off with a fresh, uh, uh, fresh oil. And I did add the Transex. I drove it, initially did the same thing, which I expected that to happen. While it uh, pressurized and got that new fluid flowing, I, once it engaged, I drove it for a while, came back. And I had, didn't have any issues after that. Uh, I was surprised, actually. So this is the next day. Uh, it's been sitting overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Okay. And I'm going to go straight to drive. And it engaged. It engaged. 
I figured it would have done the same thing because it especially gives a problem after it's been sitting overnight and or several hours actually and last night I did try this several times I would let it rest for an hour or two start it and every time it engaged so I figured that this morning will be the the uh, the real deal it has been sitting overnight and it engaged immediately no no delay no nothing it's working perfectly um, like I said I didn't see anything in the uh, transmission pan that would lead me to believe there was any clutch problems so I think the fresh fluid and the supplement more than anything else actually did wonders for it. Um, so I don't know what to say. I'm actually surprised. I'm not a big believer of these things, but apparently for this case, it actually did something. Um, I was suspecting it was probably either a sticky valve or or uh, pressure lost inside the transmission. And this uh, Transx is supposed to deal with that. It's supposed to. It is supposed to uh, clean, remove any varnishes and things like that, and recondition seals. Working perfectly. How long it'll last, I don't know. But <laughs> it's working beautifully for right now. I did drove it for a while yesterday to circulate all that new oil. And it's been working ever since. So, again, I do apologize for not uh, documenting the, the whole repair. Um, but like I said, there was just a bunch of interruptions. And I just kind of kept working in between to get it done. Um, so there you have it. Trans X actually works, I guess. I think that's what made the biggest difference to tell you the truth because the oil didn't really look bad to begin with. Uh, it was a little dirty, but not extensively as I would expect to find it. And the transmission pan was, uh, I mean, there was the little sediment that from normal wear and tear, but nothing major that would lead me to believe that there was a catastrophic transmission uh, failure. Um, so I think that Transex was what did it, to tell you the truth. Um, this vehicle does have another issue, which is the LCD display. And I'm probably gonna do that in a whole separate video when I get the part the customer already approved the repair where we will be changing that LCD um, but we'll get there when the part comes in one more one more time park drive immediate engagement we can do the power major difference major difference well thanks for watching like and subscribe and uh we'll catch you on the uh, next video